Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm driving. Y'all going to probably hear a lot of wind. Glory to God. I just feel like to just, um, just release this really quick, you guys. Probably going to leave the prayer for September below. But I just want to release two words for someone, guys. And it's not deep at all, but I feel like it's a word for someone. Guys, faith, living the Christian life of faith is going to take faith. You can't um, feel like you're going to do this in your own strength. That's just not going to work. You know, God is going to have to grace you and help you to live out this faith walk. And I'll leave some scriptures below on faith. Um, we have a lot of videos and series talking about faith and you know, I know many of you on here know what it's like to live out your faith and be built up and strengthened in your faith, you know, and believe God by faith and step out in faith and all these different things concerning faith. Even our salvation was faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It wasn't something that we could do within our own um, rights and things. But the Lord is saying that for somebody. This faith walk is going to take faith. You can't look at it um, logically all the time. It's not going to always make sense. You know, you got to live it out by faith. God blesses us each with a measure of faith. Everybody's faith don't look like yours and your faith don't look like everybody's, but God honors your faith in him. The Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. We know that God rewards those that have faith in him. You know, so I just want to encourage you in whatever area of, of um, measure of faith you're in to just continue to believe God, continue to praise God. Look at times where your faith had to be built up. You know, look at times, you know, where God honored your faith. Look at some times and, and things where God is rewarding and honoring your faith now. You know, there are some things that God wants to do concerning uh, your faith right now. There are some things he wants to do in your life concerning faith. Thank you, Lord. So, I'm sorry, guys. Somebody is driving really crazy right now. I didn't even um, blow. Glory to God. It's Sunday. Patience. Thank you, Jesus, for grace for them. But um, thank you, Lord. So, yeah, God is saying that really loud for somebody, you guys. Faith. On this, on this Christian walk, it is going to take faith. It is going to take faith, you guys. You know, in, in each season of your life, God is calling for your faith to go the, to grow. The Bible says that we go from faith to faith, level to level, and glory to glory. You know, so, you know, there may have been a certain measure of faith that you had maybe in your last season that, you know, God is calling you to, to go up in that measure of faith in this now season. You can't um, always feel like, well, my faith or... You know what God is calling me to do with different things is going to be how I was in last season. No, as you as you continue to go in God and remain and abide in Him and grow in Him, He's going to require more of you. You're going to uh, discover different things about yourself. You're going to um, discover different things about the Lord, and you have to trust Him in that. And you got to be open to what He says and what He does. Amen, you guys. So it's a little bit more I want to release with that, but I hope that bless someone. Um, faith guys never underestimate your faith your faith is valuable your faith is uh, precious you know continue to grow in your faith and just believe God and know that your faith in him is not in vain you guys and another thing that I want to uh, release that was released to me the other day that I feel led to share for some, to bless somebody you know God is such a strategic God you guys he's so strategic and there are times where you may not always understand his strategies, but you need to still trust him. You need to still praise him. You still need to believe because God is a strategic God and there are multiple strategies and tools and things that he can use in your life or however he want to connect or however he want to do things divinely and physically in any area of your life. But it's good to just trust his strategy even when you don't understand it. And just remember that he's strategic. Just remember that he had you before he'll have you again. You know, there's this quote talking about um, trust God even when you can't trace him. And God is so much bigger than us. It's not meant for us to always feel like we're going to have him figured out. That's what makes him God. That builds our dependency on him. You know, so I, I have that, you know, I just felt led to release that word. 
you know, trust God. His strategy for you may be different from someone else. His strategy for you may be different than how it was in last season or where you're going in this new season. But God is saying continue to trust him. Don't feel like you have to have it all figured out. Amen, you guys. So I'm going to stop. Guys, there's a lot of activity with this driving today. You guys be blessed. I hope that that blessed someone. You know, trust God. Continue to um, have faith in him. And guys, everybody's story is not going to be the same. But that's okay. God is doing something great in their story, just like he's doing something great in your story. You just have to have faith and depend and trust on him. When you understand and when you don't. When it's convenient for you and when it's not. When it makes sense and when it doesn't. Look back on God's faithfulness in your life. Look back over past things, guys. Even look at what he's doing. Even some of you need to pray and say, God, open my eyes to even what you're doing that I don't see. That it feel like you're not, you know, moving the way I think. But he's still moving. And you, you have no idea what he's doing behind the scenes and going to bring on the forefront for you. And even thank God for what he will do in your life. Even some of, some of you um, that you've been standing in the gap for others. Praise and thank the Lord, you guys. Yeah, what what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing right now? Okay, guys, I'm finna go. God bless.